24. Which of the following equations represents a circle in the xy plane that intersects the y axis at exactly one point? They're just testing your knowledge of the equation of a circle. When you have a circle, and I'm not going to use these numbers at first, I'm just going to use random numbers. Here is your baseline for a circle x squared plus y squared equals r squared. That is a circle with its vertex at the origin and that r squared is the radius squared. So if it was say 25, that means its radius is the square root of that. The radius is five. So five, 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 drawn poorly, but you get the idea. That would be x squared plus y squared equals 25. If you want this circle to move anywhere, you have to start adding and subtracting from the x squared and the y squared. And it's always going to move it in the opposite direction. So if it was x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared, that is going to move it, because it's minus 1, it's going to move it positive to the right, 1. And then that plus 2 is going to move it down 2. It's moving the center of the... Um, the circle. I think I said vertex earlier. That was a mistake. Sorry, the center of the circle. Sorry about that. And then we would still have that radius squared, whatever it is. So in this example, let's say if I had x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals, let's say, 36. That would mean I had a circle that it moved, the center moved to the right one, and it moved down to, again, opposite of both of those. And so there is its center, and it would have a radius of <laughs> why it did that. There we go. Back to drawing. Thank you, whiteboard. You never fail to disappoint me. All right. And then I have a circle of 6 because 36 is the radius squared. You take the square root, radius of 6. That's a really quick recap of, you know, what the equation of a circle is. So let's look at these equations of circles that we have. First one, we want one that intersects the y-axis at exactly one point. So that means it's a circle and it is just touching, just touching at one little point, and that's it. All right, so first one, x minus 8 squared plus y minus 8 squared equals 16. So minus 8, that means it's going over here, 8. And then y minus 8 means it's going up, 8. And equals 16 means a radius of 4. So that radius is only like this. That's not touching anything. Nope, that's not it. A is out. Right, B, cross out A, okay? X minus eight squared, okay, so we're still going to the right over to eight. Y minus four squared, this time we're only going up to four. Still 16, square root of that is four, so our radius is four. But if our center is right there, radius of 4, it's going to touch the x-axis, but not quite getting over to touch the y. Okay, so b is out. Let's look at c. x minus 4 squared plus y minus 9 squared equals 16. Okay, so x minus 4, so we're over here at a positive 4. And y minus 9, so we're up here at positive 9. Okay, and radius of... Uh, 4 because again 16 is r squared square root of that is 4 okay so it's going 4 down 4 to the right 4 to the left hey there we go it is touching the y axis at exactly one point c is our answer but just to double check let's look at d d says x squared so that means we're at zero but then y minus 9 so it means we're up here so our center is up here and a radius of 4. This is not going to work either because if I continue this, as you see, it's going all the way around. It's going to intersect the y-axis at two points. So confirmed, C is my answer. Hey guys, if you want to help me keep making these videos, please check out my spread shop and Etsy stores. Links are down below where you can find fun things like this slightly sarcastic coffee mug or this slightly arrogant sweatshirt. <laughs> and if this was helpful or useful in any way, please let YouTube know so I can keep helping you and others like you. Comment, like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.